You don't have to be able to read music to be great at the guitar, but why not learn and be the best musician you can be? Over the last 20 years, I've taught thousands of students how to read music in the public school system. And I have this great system that'll have you reading music in minutes. Let's check it out. So there's my checklist for being able to read music from a staff. I call it the reading music workout. So if you can sing the song, if you can say the note names, if you can say the rhythms, if you can clap the rhythms, and if you can show the fingerings on the guitar neck, then you can play it, okay? So we're gonna go through that for two song examples, and you're going to be reading music. Isn't that cool? So let's see, our first artist who cannot read music but is super successful, Jimi Hendrix. Cannot read music, but changed the sound of guitar, changed guitar playing forever. Another artist, let's see, Taylor Swift. So reading music has not held her back. Who else? Oh, Bob Dylan, he can't read music either. Poor guy. Maybe if he could have read music, he could have wrote some better songs and been more famous, do you think? Let's check it out. The Beatles, they can't read music and they can't write music. Well, they can't write it down. And they are the most famous band in the world, so they didn't let it hold them back. Eric Clapton can't read music. One of the most famous blues guitar players. And the king of rock and roll himself, Elvis Presley, can't read music either. And he still is probably the most famous musician of all time. And last but not least, Stevie Wonder cannot read music, but is super talented and super amazing. So there's an example, guys, of some stuff there. People who can't read music, who but have been very successful at the craft. Don't let not being able to read music hold you back. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. And it's going to make you a better person and a more well-rounded musician. Reading music is only divided into two things, notes and rhythm. Okay, we're going to break this down for you tonight really, really well. So we're going to look at notes first, okay? I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to teach you how to read notes really easily here. This is fun. Okay, so all you need to know about the notes is two phrases. Every good boy deserves fudge and F-A-C-E, face. Musical staff notes lie on fall on a musical staff. This is a musical staff. This is a treble clef or the G clef. And there's five lines. You can count them one, two, three, four, five, and four spaces. Okay, so this is kind of your palette of where the notes are going to fall. So notes can either be on a line or they can fall on a space. Okay, so that's basically basically it. Okay. So if a line, if a note falls on a space, it's either going to be in the first space, second space, third space, or fourth space. And if it's in the first space, it's going to be an F, second, A, third, C, fourth, E. So spaces spell face. Okay, remember that. Spaces spell face, spaces spell face, spaces spell face, spaces spell face. Don't forget. Now if a note falls on a line, it's going to be either every good boy deserves fudge. It's either going to be an E for the first line, a G for the second line, a B for the third line, a D for the fourth line, and an F for the fifth line. Now that's just a saying that I learned when I was a kid and I just stuck with it, but you can change it to something else. Ernie gave Bert dog food. You can make it anything you want, okay? I just stick with this one because it's what I learned, started with. Okay, so um, spaces spell face and lines are every good boy deserves fudge. Every good boy deserves fudge. Every good boy deserves fudge. Don't forget that. Now, notes can fall below the lines and above the lines as well. And if it goes below the line, one below would be a D, and one more below that would be a C. Okay, you just have to memorize that. Now, let's look at this. Let's go up from the bottom. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. I just went up stepwise, like space line, space line, space line. We have a pattern there. That is called the musical alphabet. And that's the order of notes. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's the order of notes. So that's how they move, that's how they step, okay? Just like the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It only goes, it's only the first seven letters of the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G stops at G and then it repeats again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G into infinity, both directions. And that's pretty much it for the notes. That's easy, you got it. Spaces spell face, lines are every good boy deserves fudge, musical alphabet is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now we just have to see where these notes lie on the guitar neck. There they are. So that's a C major scale, starting at the fifth fret. 
So you just have to memorize this shape, okay? It's really easy. There's only seven or eight notes. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Go backwards. C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Okay? So just memorize that pattern, that shape. That's the notes on the guitar neck. So starting on the fifth fret, second, third string from the bottom, that's your, and that's actually middle C. If you went to the piano, that would be middle C on the piano. So you just, we just built a C major scale off of middle C on the guitar neck, which is on the fifth fret, third string from the bottom. Okay, that's it. So you can go back and rewind and check this out if you want. Okay, now we need to know about rhythm. So we got the notes all taken care of. We're gonna move along, push those notes aside. So rhythm is really simple. You got your half note, the white note with the stem, so that's two beats. It's also called the ta-ah. You would clap it like this, ta-ah. One, two, okay? White note with the stem is worth two counts. The black note with the stem is a is a, called a quarter note, and it's, got, it's worth one beat, and you clap, and it's a ta. You clap it like this, ta, okay? Now, we've got two eighth notes attached together here. So this is called a TT, and that TT is worth one beat. Okay, and it would sound like this, TT, TT. Okay, and then the rest is just a rest. It's a one beat rest and rest. Still takes up space, it takes up one beat, but it doesn't make any sound. So that's the basic rhythms that you're gonna encounter. So we're, we're, we're really keeping it really simple tonight. Um, Maybe I'll do a part two with a little more complicated stuff, but this is the beginnings and this is the basics. Okay, so let's practice clapping some patterns here. Let's do the A pattern on the top. So four, four, that's the time signature. The top four means there's four beats per block, per bar, okay? That's all that means. So let's clap that first pattern there. Let's say it first and then clap it. So ta, t, 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 ta, t, t, ta, t, t, ta. Okay, now let's clap it. Ta, T, 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 Ta, T, T, Ta, T, T, Ta. Second line. So let's say first Ta, T, T, Ta, Ta, T, T, Rest, T, T, Ta. Okay, now clap it. Ta, T, T, Ta, Ta, T, T, Rest, T, T, Ta. Good. Okay, and then last line. Say it first. Ta, Ta, T, T, Ta, T, T, Ta. Rest ta. Okay, can you clap it? Ta ta ti ti ta ti ti ta rest ta. Okay, there you go. So now we are set. We know our notes on the staff. We know our rhythms. Now we're going to combine our notes with our rhythms and we're going to be able to read music just like that. There's my checklist for being able to read music from a staff. So it's called the read, I call it the reading music workout. So if you can sing the song, if you can say the note names, if you can say the rhythms, if you can clap the rhythms, and if you can show the fingerings on the guitar neck, then you can play it, okay? So we're gonna go through that for two song examples, and you're going to be reading music. Isn't that cool? We did it. Let's take a look at our first song. Super easy, really easy song. Okay, so let's analyze it. So let's say, let's let's sing it first, okay? Like I said, so let's go through it. So we're gonna go, that's a beat. So we'll just go, so la, 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 la. Okay, we sang it. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say the note names, okay? So there's, so remember, F-A-C-E for spaces, and every good boy deserves fudge for lines. So that's on the third line, so every good boy. So it's a B, so let's say it. B, 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 B. And then F-A-C-E, so it's an A, it's on the second space, F-A. So A, 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 A. Back to B, every good boy. B, B, A, A, A. Last line is a every good, it's a G. G, 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 okay? So now let's, let's say the rhythms. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, ta, 
ta ta a. Okay, so now let's clap it. So ta ta ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta 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 a. Okay, I know it sounds kind of kind of beginnerish, but that's how we got to do it because we're just learning. Okay, so we're just we're just keeping it simple, beginner. We're a beginner level here. We're just learning how to read music. So, so we sang it. We said the note names. We said the rhythms. We clapped the rhythms. Now we're going to show the fingerings. Okay. So on the guitar neck, that chart that I showed you. So where's so it starts on B. So there's B. So B B B B B A A A A A. Maybe I should zoom in. Should I zoom in? Okay. So B B. B B B A A A A A B B A A A G G G. All right. So now we're going to play it. So I'm reading notes off of musical staff. This is crazy. Let's do it. Awesome. We read the music. Easy. Okay, so we got that first song, really simple. And let's analyze. There's your treble clef out front. The time signature is what? It's 2-4 time. So that means there's two beats per bar. So a bar is the blocks, remember? So each bar has to add up to two. So one, two, two, two ta's equal two. A ti ti na ta equal two. And then we got um, double bar at the end, that means the song's over. And we got our rhythms, and we went through it already. Okay, so let's check out this second song. This one's a little more complicated. Oh man, there's a lot of notes in this one. What am I doing to you? Okay, don't worry, we're gonna go through it and you're gonna be able to handle it. Yeah, let's go, actually, let's analyze it first. We got the treble clef, we got time signatures four, four time this time. So that means the top four tells us there's four beats per measure. How many measures in the whole song? One, two, three, four on the top. One, two, three, four measures in the middle. One, I'm counting the bars. One, two, three, four in the next line and four in the next line. So 16 bars. So we got ta's and titi's. We have a dotted half note. This is a new rhythm that I didn't talk about yet, but that means you hold the note for three counts because it's a half note is two. And then the dot means you take half of two, which is one. You put them together and you get three. Okay, so that's three counts. Let's go through it and do our um, our checklist. Okay, so let's let's uh, sing it. So it's we're gonna sing it first. Oh, old old MacDonald had a farm, e i e i o, and on this farm he had some chicks, e i e i o, with a chick chick here and a chick chick there. Here chick, there chick, everywhere chick, chick, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Okay, so we sang it, now we're going to say the note names, okay? So, um, it's going to be G, 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 D, E, E, D, B, B, A, A, G, D, G, 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 D, E, E, D, B, B, A, A, G, D, D, G, 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 D, D, G, 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 G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G D E E D B B A A G. Okay, and I know that because the spaces spell face, and the lines are every good boy deserves fudge. So now we can say the rhythms. That's the next step. Okay, so ta 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 a ta 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 a a ta 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 a. Ta 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 a a ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta 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 a ti ti ta ti ti ta ti 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 ta 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 a a. Okay, so you can follow along. Okay, now let's clap it together. So, ta 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 a. Ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-
ti ti ta ti ti ta ti 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 ta 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 rest okay so we clap the rhythms now we're going to show the fingerings okay so the first note is a g so we're going to show me i'm going to show you where the g is on the guitar so it's going to be like this around the up here on the eighth fret so it's G, 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 D, E, E, D, B, B, A, A, G, D, G, 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 D, E, E, D, B, B, A, A, G, D, D, G, 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 D, D, G, 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 D, E, E, D, B B A A G. Okay, so I know that's really probably kind of boring, but okay. So we're gonna play it. We did it all. We sang it. We said the letter names. We said the rhythm names. We clapped it, and we showed the fingerings. So now we can play it. Now, so let's play it. We can do it now. Now that we did our reading workout. So, so here goes. All right, we did it. So this is a great little introduction on how to read music on the guitar. And thanks for joining.